There are lots of things we don't know and lots of questions that we have. Over time, plenty of highly specialised people investigate questions and look for answers. In this episode of Mystery Vault, we look into the mystery of how eels reproduce because even now, we still really don't know. There are things in this world, in this universe, that we don't know. Mysteries to science. I'm not talking about Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. I'm talking about things we know that we don't know. Join me as I jump into them on this episode of Mystery Vault. We've known for a while that all eels probably start their lives in the ocean. It doesn't matter if they're freshwater eels or marine eels, they probably all start their lives in salty waters of the ocean. And I say probably because, as I've already alluded, we are still learning a lot about eels, and there are still lots of things that we don't know. I want you to imagine what a baby eel looks like. Picture it in your head, and if you're feeling adventurous or artistic, pause this video and draw one. This is a baby eel. A baby eel is a leptocephalus. Lepto means leaf and cephalus means head. Leaf, head, because their heads or bodies are shaped and are about as thick as leaves. This is the larval form of an eel. Because yes, eels are a kind of fish that have a larval stage, meaning that they will undergo a metamorphosis to turn into its adult form. But this metamorphosis is similar, more similar to how a tadpole turns into a frog than how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. That's pretty cool. Some species of eels spend up to two and a half years as leptocephali before metamorphizing into a glass eel, called so because they are transparent. This is often when freshwater eels begin their journey back to their freshwater habitats. They may make their way into lakes and ponds along their journey, and they do this by slithering on land like snakes for stretches of distance. As freshwater eels progress towards their homes, they will darken, turning yellow and then dark brown or black, an adult eel. Here's the mystery though. For a long time, scientists had no idea how eels reproduced. They knew they did, otherwise there wouldn't be any eels, but it had never been observed. And even during the dissection of eel specimens, no reproductive organs were found. How can an animal without reproductive organs reproduce? <laughs> it turns out we still don't know much because we have still not observed eels reproducing in the wild. We've not really seen mature eels in their natural environments with their reproductive organs. We don't know much about the final stages of their life cycle because we haven't really seen it yet. It's a mystery, but we have observed them reproducing in captivity. How to make eels reproduce. Step one, get your adult eels in two separate tanks. One is for males and the other for females. Don't know how to tell them apart beforehand? That's actually fine because it kind of doesn't matter. Most juvenile eels are intersex. Step two, introduce hormones to the water, corresponding to the sex of the eel that is in the tank, or the sex you want them to be. This may cause the eel to develop its reproductive organs. In the wild, we think that environmental factors trigger the development of reproductive organs, but as I've said in this video, we don't really know. Step three, introduce your male and female eels. After some time, the females may disperse their eggs into the water, floating freely, and the males will release their genetic material into the water too, fertilizing the free-floating eggs. The two adult eels don't actually need to touch. Step four, congratulations, you've got fertilized eggs ready to hatch and grow into leptocephali. People have done this in captivity, but eels won't really do this without human intervention, and the mystery remains as to how or when, why, this happens in the wild. As I've already said, we haven't observed this happening, and there are so many questions that we have. We do know that eels typically migrate to their breeding grounds in the ocean when the time is right for them to reproduce. For some, this is an extremely long journey. The longest straight line distance from where they live as freshwater eels to where they end up in the ocean ever recorded is over 2,000 kilometers. But you might be wondering what happens to the eels after they've reproduced. Do they make their return trip back to their home? Well, no. After they spawn, they die. 
Their babies will find their ways back to their homes and we don't really know how, maybe because of Earth's magnetic field, we, we don't know really how they find their way home. It's another mystery. So we know that eels have a truly unusual life cycle and we know that due to environmental changes they will develop reproductive organs as adults and in the ocean will spawn floating eggs. The adults die and the babies hatch into leptocephali and after a time eating and growing will begin their metamorphosis and migrate back to their homes wherever that may be. We don't know what triggers these changes in the wild and we haven't observed eels reproducing in the wild either. We don't know how young eels find their way back home. There are a lot of mysteries about eels but I think that they're pretty cool and I can't wait to hear about what we learn about them in the future. Thanks for tuning into this first episode of Mystery Vault on That's Pretty Cool. I think it's wonderful that we don't yet have all the answers and it's down to curiosity, questioning and inquiring to find out the answers. Often these trigger more and more questions. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and with the like button. And if you have a mystery of science or history that you'd like me to cover, please post it in there as well. But for now, appreciate that our world is still full of mysteries. Thank you for watching, take care, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.